In this video we want to make the battery. It's a pretty simple part. And let's take a look at some photographs of it. Here it is from the side. You can see it's basically two cylinders. Sort of one right here. Of course it's a square and cross section and then one sitting on top there. Some other features in here that we're going to ignore, as you can see in this view. Uh, we're basically just going to do this little bump and then we're going to consider everything else to be uh, another single monolithic object. There's the other side. So let's uh, see if we can do this with Revolve. It's got perfect uh, cylindrical symmetry. So I am going to put a sketch on the front plane and I'm going to draw the uh, sort of a cross section right in the middle of it but only half of it of course because we're going to revolve it. So my bottom dimension is the bottom of the uh, the biggest part of the battery. According to my measurements I got uh, 0 0.305 over 2. And I'm going to escape the line tool so I can clean up the dimensions so they're not in my way. And now I go up. What I got, it's hard to measure, I got 0.135 up to there. So that's the, the top of the fat cylinder on the bottom. And then you'll recall that we need to go back in and then up. And last time we used a technique um, to kind of help us. So I'm going to hit the line tool, hit Q to make it a uh, construction line come straight up here. And I want that distance uh, to be the height of the next cylinder that sits on top of it. And I got 0.140, just a tiny bit above. I have to measure that again sometime, but uh, that's what I got, so I'm going to go with it. And then this distance here is going to be the two diameters divided by two. So subtract the diameters. So 0 0.305 minus, these are my numbers, 0 0.185, right parentheses, over two. And now, I can go to the line tool and come over here. I want to go to this line, make sure I'm on there. There's my horizontal constraint, go up to there. And I only want to go up to there. And I come and uh, I want to come back here. And I want to be right there. Horizontal constraint right there. And then back down. Turns gray because it's a close uh, figure. So let us revolve that around that. And we'll take that P to turn the planes off, F to make it up close. Now that's really adequate for us, but we do know that there's some significant rounding there. So to make it look a little more realistic, we might, that's too much. So that's, let's go 0.01. And maybe 0.02. take that. And at the very top, that one's rounded as well, but we don't want 0 0.02. We want something really small. It's like 0 0.001 or 0 0.05 maybe. Really small. Maybe bigger than that. Uh, 0 0.01. Maybe that's all it could do, so it did it. 0 0.01 anyway. One more try. Let's make it 0 0.02. 0 0.002. A little bit more. Okay, so there's our battery, and we've got another part done for our flashlight. Thanks for watching.